The Tibetan national anthem, Bod Argyal Kab Chen Poi Argyal Glu, known as Galu, was written by Trijang Rinpoche in 1950. It is used by Tibetan government in exile but is strictly banned by the People's Republic of China, including in Tibetan areas. Tibet's first national anthem was, according to Tashi Sering, written by a famous Tibetan scholar, during the epoch of the Seventh Dalai Lama and under the reign of the Fulanas in between 1745 to 1746. Galu Galu is the national anthem of the Tibetan exile government and focuses on the radiance of the Buddha. The words were written by Trijang Rinpoche around 1950 but it is unclear exactly whether it was first used before the incorporation of Tibet into the People's Republic of China in 1951 or after the 14th Dalai Lama went into exile in India in 1960. The earliest report of a state anthem presumably Galu is from the period of 1949 to 1950 when Tibet was already facing the threat of a communist Chinese invasion, introduced under reforms set in place to strengthen patriotism among the Tibetan people. Another report states that the anthem was presented to the 14th Dalai Lama in 1960 in exile. The melody is said to be based on a very old piece of Tibetan sacred music, and the lyrics are by the Dalai Lama's tutor, Trijang Rinpoche. It has been used by Tibetans in exile ever since the introduction of the state anthem although it is banned in Tibet. Lyrics Tibetan script Topic: 18th century Tibet national anthem. The first Tibetan national anthem was created in the 18th century. According to eminent Tibetan scholar Tashi Sering, it was composed by Folanas in 1745-46, at the time of the seventh Dalai Lama. Sir Charles Bell described it as Tibet's national hymn, also part of a Tibetan Buddhist prayer, namely prayer for long life of the Dalai Lama. The prayer mentioned below is the prayer for long life of 14th Dalai Lama Tenzin Gyatso, so it could not possibly be the national anthem before his re birth. In Tibetan Buddhism it is customary to write by highly realized masters long life prayers for new reincarnations and other greatly recognized masters of the time. It is said that reciting such prayers that spontaneously appeared in the minds of reincarnated masters living Buddhas brings great benefits to those who recite them, not to mention of course the addressees of them equals 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 lyrics